Hello everybody and welcome to day one of the Edist June 2021 daily challenges. I have three things for you in this video. Number one, who's the winner today? We have done with day one, who's actually won today? Number two, a very special announcement. And number three, the actual solution for today's challenge. So let's go ahead and check out all these three things. Uh, starting with about our daily challenges. So as you all know that we're doing a daily challenge. Before I come to the winner of this June 2021, the first day daily challenge at least, I want to make a very special announcement to all of you. And that special announcement is this, that we are launching the June 2021 batch of data structures and algorithms. It's a very special batch that we've launched. We've done a couple of batches before with amazing results and the best part about these batches is that we take a very closed number of people. So this time we are accepting only about 30 students in this batch uh, and we cover everything, all of the topics. So that's your everything to do with algos and data structures. That's your strings, dynamic programming, arrays, backtracking graphs, all data structures. I'm not going into the full detail of the syllabus. You can check out that syllabus in the link in the description below. You, you'll get all of the things over there. It's the, the instructors for this course are me, that's Anik and Devang as well. So he's joined our team and he is an SDE at a current company right now at a product based company and has cracked multiple product based companies, an excellent mentor for all of you to learn from. So between him and me, we are going to teach you all of these topics and don't just, you know, hear it from us, hear it from our alumni who are working at product companies like these. These are just some of the few product companies that our alumni are working at. I'll just bring some of the logos here. Right, so that you can all see. But these are some of the uh, you know companies uh, north of you know twenty lakhs, thirty lakhs. Some have even got forty lakhs package. So if you are someone who wants to learn data structures and algorithms, the June twenty twenty one batch is open. It's going to close pretty soon. We have a limited number of seats. Check out the link in the description below to join this batch right away. Now the second thing, who's actually won today's prize? So just to update all of you, every day from 8 a so from 8th june till 11th june tuesday till friday 11 am we are turning on a challenge so we are actually putting up a challenge and that the first person to crack the challenge will be on the top of the leaderboard and wins uh, a prize and if you want to sign up for this the link is also in the description below now who's actually won the day one's challenge so moment of truth the person who's won the day one challenge is Chitresh. So Chitresh has won today's challenge and Harshita is our random winner. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically every day two people will win a prize. The first one is the person to actually clear the challenge. So that's Chitresh for today. You get both stone speakers, Chitresh. You will receive all of the instructions on how you can get those speakers after the challenges are over. And Harshita is our random winner today. She has come up. She solved the question, but not in time. But as I said, one random person will win a prize as well. So congratulations, Harshita, for winning JBL headphones. Everybody else, there are still three more days left. Make sure that you go ahead, sign up for uh, the daily challenges and you too could win amazing prizes such as an Amazon Eco Dot, MI Smart Band and Boatstone already someone's won. Probably tomorrow another person will win. Let's see. So these are, you know, some things that we're giving out. So make sure you sign up for that. Okay. So that's our winner for today. Now let's go into, um, you know, the solution for today's challenge. So the challenge's name is called Simon and his strings. And let me actually open up the question to figure out, you know, how to solve it and just show you all the solution for this one. I'll give you the solution approach and I'll do it in Java. So I'll do it in Python, but you can, you know, do it in any of your preferred programming language and it'll be all the same. So it's a very simple question today's. So today we'll actually look at the code from tomorrow onwards. We'll probably just look at uh, the pseudo code and the actual code will be available to you in the platform itself. So let's go and let's check out some of the, the question itself. So this is what the question says. Just give me one minute opening it up. Yeah, here we go. So this is what the question says. Simon likes to play with his strings very often. He has been given n strings, S1 all the way up till Sn to play with. He needs to find out if there exists a happy string pair or not. Each of the given strings is a non-empty string consisting of lowercase English characters, okay? With zero or one exclamation added at the beginning. It's just a fancy way of saying that we have, um, I'm just making sure that you all can see, so hold on. Yeah, here we go, right. So this is just a fancy way of basically saying that we have some words and some of those words start with an exclamation mark and some of them don't start with an exclamation mark. Now the thing is, we say a string pair P to be happy if that string P is present in the list and another string is present in the list with exclamation added at the beginning. So like for example, let's look at one of the examples here, A is there and if I have an exclamation A also in the list, then it's a 
happy pair. We have to just figure out if there exists even one happy pair, right? Print happy if there exists at least one happy string. So for example, here, if you look at the other one, red occurs three times, but it has to occur with and without an exclamation mark. So the ones that occur with an exclamation mark are orange, green, and gray, but they don't occur without an exclamation mark. So there should be two groups basically, and there should be some strings that occur in the uh, one without exclamation should also occur in the one with exclamation. That's basically the question. If you don't find any such pairs, it's an unhappy. Hence we print unhappy over here. I hope the question is clear. If not, do let me know, um, you know, but I guess it's, it's pretty much clear. So I'll just do the input taking part really quickly and then we can sit and, you know, find out the question. So uh, n is the number of um, strings that are there. n is equal to int input, all right? And uh, so yeah, n is equal to int input over there and then all the words, right? So I'll say words, so for i in range n and we end up getting a bunch of words, okay? So I'll just switch to the approach now before actually, you know, going ahead with the code. So let's look at the approach. The approach is as follows, okay? So what we are told is we will get a, uh, you know, a list of words, all right? We're getting a list of words as input some with exclamation at start and some without. We have to check if there's overlap between a word with exclamation and without exclamation, right? So I'll, I'll take this as the approach. This is the question by the way. So let's, let's do this as the approach, a simple approach. Uh, and then we'll check the constraints if this approach will work out for us or not, okay? So the approach, I'll probably take is something like this, which is um, add all normal words into one list or actually set. Why set? Because set, it's very easy to look up whether a word has come or not. In a list, you'll always have to do a linear search. You'll have to search from start till end. And I'll explain this in a bit, but I'll, you know, we we'll just add all the normal words to a set. Add all other words to a another set. Okay, to another set okay check if there is overlap between first and second set okay even if one member overlaps happy if no member overlaps then unhappy that's about it now you could also use a list for this there's no problem in that but with a set, what happens is the membership to check whether a particular element has occurred earlier is just faster because the set will actually hash your string and store it. So the lookup is much faster than without it. Okay. Are there better approaches than the one that I mentioned right now? There are actually, uh, but again, a lot of beginners did this uh, daily challenge. So I just wanted to uh, go with the simplest approach that's there. Okay. All right. So let's uh, actually take this and, you know, apply it to our code. And again, everyone's today's was simpler to, from tomorrow onwards. You can expect a little bit more, you know, difficult question in that sense. Okay. So add all normal words to one list. How do I know if it's a normal word? So I'll create a set over here. First of all, let me say normal set is like this. All right. And um, the other set is also like this. So I'll just create a set and I'm doing this in Python, but I'm pretty sure you all know how to do this in your own programming languages. If you don't high time to join our data structures, algorithms course, we teach all of these things there. Anyways, um, for I in range N, what I'm going to do is first take word is equal to input. Now, is this a normal word? So how do I figure out if it's a normal word? If word of zero not equal to exclamation marks, then it's a normal word, right? So I'll just say, normal dot add this word if it is a normal word is if it's an other word that is it starts with an exclamation i'll say other dot add okay um other dot add and i want to add it without the exclamation otherwise i will not be able to find out if there is a overlap or not right so i want to add it without an exclamation so first let me actually do word is equal to word one onwards basically i omitted the first character and this is nothing but um, slicing in Python, but I inverted the first character because that character would have been an exclamation mark. So I added that to my other set over here. So I added that here. So now all my words are added and some are in the normal set and some are in the other set. 
Now, actually, at the end of this loop itself, you can tell whether there is a uh, an overlap or not. Um, and that's a little bit a slightly advanced approach. That is, while at the time of adding itself, you can check if it's there in either of the sets. I'll not be doing that. The simple thing that you could do over here is um, you can check basically for whichever one. Let, let's let's just go with the smaller one. Okay, so let's check for example, um, you know, for let me check for um, the one with let's say the, or let's just go with both of them. That's also fine. It's it's not a big deal. So for you know a word in normal. So I'll go through all the words with whichever is there. Okay. Uh, in normal and I'll check if it also exists in other if it exists in the other then it's happy otherwise it's not happy so I'll just mark here happy is equal to false initially right for for word in normal for other or for for you know um, let's say uh, no just we don't have to do a double loop uh, that's the that's the reason why we even did um, the set so what we're going to do is for word in normal I'm just going to check if word in other so that means does it also exist in other and the best part is usually I've told all of you that the in keyword is going to do a linear search which is correct but if you're doing it with a set it's just not going to do a linear search because again sets do hashing and they can tell you very quickly in order one time whether the word has ex uh, occurred or not so if word is also in other then happy is equal to true okay otherwise you know you continue with happy as false so when happy is equal to true, I can just break out because I know that it's happy and you know, we can just print that. So if happy, I'll print happy else I'm going to print unhappy. Yeah. So that's it. Let's just check out whether this actually works out or not. Um, yeah, it passes the these test cases and if we pass if we submit it we also get that yep they pass right so again a, a super simple question for the first day again when i say super simple some of you might be just beginners and might have taken your time remember that the fact that you solved it even if it took one hour is the first step to the journey of programming so don't think that oh my god sir solved it so quickly and so on. don't worry about all of that uh, I know the first person, Chitresh, I think solved it within two, three minutes itself. That's super speed. Continue that speed. Amazing. But all the others, even if you're beginners, this is the way everybody starts. I'm sure even Chitresh, even me started like this, right? So it's, it's completely fine. Uh, just a quick recap of what we did. What we did was we stored both the words in a set. Okay. Um, so we stored the normal words in one set and the other words in the other set. So other words are those that begin with exclamation mark. That's what we did here. If the word doesn't begin with exclamation mark, add it to the normal set. If it does begin with an exclamation, first remove the exclamation and then add it to the other set. Once you're happy with that or not happy per se, but once you're you know done with all the words, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, okay, I'll go through all of the normal words and check if this normal word is also occurring in my other set or not. So for word in normal, let's go through all the word in normal. If word in other means, does this word also occur in other? And this is the catch here. The word in other will check in a set. Would lists have helped? List could have helped because if you check the constraints, it's not that big. Um, in some cases, it would not have helped uh, because you're going to an n square approach. So that wouldn't be a good thing. But set over here will definitely help because you get an order one approach of looking at it. So you'll get an order n approach overall, right? Then if you do get uh, the word in the other, you'll say happy is equal to true and you'll break out. If it's happy, print happy. Otherwise, print unhappy, okay? Which means... If I didn't find any overlap, that is any word in my normal set could not get with the other set, happy will never get set to true. Happy will remain false and hence we'll print unhappy. So that's uh, that's today's day one daily challenge. Uh, tomorrow, that is 9th June's daily challenge is going to come out on 11 a.m. on 9th June uh, and a bunch of prizes up for grabs. And again, as I was mentioning, it's not just the person who gets on the top. It's also one random participant who gets a prize as Harshita has got today. Maybe you could be that random participant. So don't worry. Don't forget to join. Even if you missed today's challenge, it's completely fine. Please go ahead, join. We are in a giving mood. Uh, you know, a lot of people are going to get prizes. All right. 
so that's all just a quick recap number 1 who won today i told you all number 2 uh, how you can participate tomorrow you can check and the solution as well and number 3 very very importantly we have a new batch coming up i hope you guys go ahead and check out the link for that is in the description below thanks all for joining in for this super quick update on our june 2021 daily challenges i'll see you all tomorrow up until friday for the upcoming daily challenges thank you all and i'll catch you all next time have a great day everybody thank you